If you go to the Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, they have some new technology that has rolled out that says that you can now use your facial recognition to buy snacks at the NFL games. That's right. They're not the only stadium that's doing that, but they're saying that when you now come to the Mercedes-Benz Stadium to watch the Atlanta Falcons play this football season, you'll be able to enter the stadium and even buy food and drinks without having to pull out your phone, ID, or your credit cards. And as it, all thanks to facial recognition that allows fans to take a selfie in the ticketing app before the game even starts or on tablets provided at the entrance. And then you can enter through a dedicated lane that does not require them to show a physical or digital ticket, only their face. And they're saying that people that have done it have said that it is very smooth when you do it. And they said that they've had the experience and they said they go to a lot of sporting events, but they said this is probably the smoothest that it has been. And they're saying that when fans make food and drink purchases at concession stands, they can just basically complete the transaction without needing to pull out an ID or credit card. And the items are quickly charged to their payment method of choice. Now, security, because, you know, somebody's going to try and scam and scheme. We always got one in the bunch that's going to say, well, let me see if I could just use his face and I walk out there with it. But they say security will monitor the technology and can get notifications of any mismatches or attempts to commit fraud, like someone trying to get purchases charged to another nearby ticket holder. But they're saying that the system runs without much human intervention. And they're saying biometric Ticketing and concessions are becoming increasingly common at sports stadiums. The New York Mets, the Cleveland Browns have also offered face-based ticketing and payment options. And Miami's Formula One race this year allowed fans to purchase merchandise using biometric authentication. Now, they're saying that the system is designed to speed admissions and checkouts and reduce the worry of fumbling for your wallet and uh, trying to, I got the hot dog in one hand and let me pull out the credit card in the other hand and I got beer holding it with my lip uh, in my mouth. I don't want to spill the beer. You, no, they're just saying that this is just a general push to use digital technology to improve the game day experience. And that's pretty much it. The question that I have for you before I give my thoughts on this is, would you scan your face to buy food at a shopping event or a concert? Because once they do this, once they do this, you know, if they're doing it at sporting events now, well, they're gonna eventually do it at concerts. So one, I like this idea. No more tapping or opening my wallet. Two, this is a hell no for me. Three, I would do it once I see a few people do it. Four, this is how you get people to use it at an event. Five, nope, it's an easy way for the government to track me. One, two, three, four, or five. Let me know what you think about scanning your face to buy food at a sporting event or concert. Now, ladies, y'all like Beyonce. Y'all like uh, Rihanna. Y'all like Usher. And if they say, hey, this is a great way for you to get into the event faster. What if you went to an event and they say it's a open seating, first come, first serve? I'm just throwing out some serious scenarios for you to where you could say, what if this happened? It's open seating. And the only way you can get close is you either get there early or you can scan and you go in the dedicated line. Or what about, hey, I want to buy some merchandise and I have the merchandise and there we go. Your call, your choice, I'm just saying, would you be open to it? But a lot of people are saying, nope, 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 I'm not feeling this. I'm not feeling this at all. I understand. It's not for everybody. But like I said, this technology is starting to roll out in sporting events, and this is how you get people to use it at events. Once people see how easy it is, how seamless it is, what do you think is going to eventually happen? It's the Lab Tech Show. Join us Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern at thelabtechshow.com. Embrace it or get left behind. All righty then.